Irene Delroy, clever girl operative, and Sergeant Fitzgerald of the Department of Justice are baffled by the trend of events in the airmail mystery. Sent to investigate a strange series of airmail robberies, Miss Delroy and Fitzgerald find themselves involved in a startling crime which has just resulted in a murder. Andy Andrews, pilot for Transamerican Airlines, is found dead at the controls of his plane with a bullet wound in his head. Later, the Transamerican radio operator, Roberts, is found in his room at the airport, apparently a victim of suicide. But Miss Delroy refuses the suicide theory. While investigating Roberts' death, Ernest Powers, general manager of the airline, reports someone snooping around in the radio transmitting room. Surprised by Miss Delroy and Jimmy Gifford, a reporter, the man in the radio room escapes by airplane, but is followed by Gifford in another ship. A new pilot, Lewis, has just disclosed an important bit of information for Miss Delroy as the two wait for news of Gifford's flight. Would you repeat that, please? Certainly. Andy Andrews is not dead. I'm the man you thought you found in that ship out in Devil's Canyon. But the sergeant knew Andrews. He identified him. The sergeant thought he knew Andrews. The man he knew as Andrews was the man you found dead in the canyon. But he is not the Andy Andrews who was transferred here from the Eastern Division of the line. I'm afraid I don't follow you, Mr... Uh, Lewis, that name will suffice until this business is cleared up. How much do you know about this business, Mr. Lewis? Plenty. But there are also a few things I don't know. I was hoping we could get together on the facts. Perhaps if I knew your story, it would be helpful to both of us. It'll be hard to follow, Miss Delroy. I believe I know more of this business than you seem to give me credit for. Very well. But for personal reasons, I'm going to ask you to keep my story and my presence here secret, at least for the time being. Very well. You can rely on my discretion. I am the same Andy Andrews that hung up the Los Angeles New York record two years ago. I made quite a bit of money through promotion schemes following that flight. Then I got an offer from the Lufthansa lines in Germany as a sort of advisory pilot. On completion of that contract, I returned to New York and applied for my old job with Transamerican. I found mostly a new crowd Who was there. this, Mr. Lewis? Uh, three months ago. And the application? Was approved because of my past record. But I was transferred to the Western Division, which had been just opened recently. And you came out here immediately? Yes, I'm coming to that part of the story. I'm warning you, you'll find it hard to believe. It will be no more difficult than several other features of this case. I was sent to Toledo to pick up a plane for use out here. I hopped by way of Chicago, St. Louis, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, and Albuquerque. I spent a night there, and the next morning I left for here. And for some reason you didn't show up here, is that right? Very right, Miss Delroy. About an hour out of Albuquerque, my motor cut out on me without warning. The ground was more or less level under me, so I set my ship down on the rim of a canyon. Devil Canyon? Not the main canyon, but one of the many small ones leading into it. I'm sorry I interrupted. Go ahead, please. I spent about 20 minutes trying to find out what was wrong with the motor. When a man comes up on horseback. On horseback? Yeah. He was dressed as a forest ranger. Did you learn his name? No, ma'am. Have you seen this man since? Only from a distance. Do you know who he is? Yes. He is the man you knew as Andy Andrews, the pilot whose body was found in that ship. Oh, I don't understand. Perhaps you'd better let me finish. This man came up and asked if he could help. I thanked him and went ahead with my work. He stood around a few minutes, and suddenly I saw him facing me with a gun. There was a flash of flame and a stinging pain through my left shoulder. That's all I remember. This man shot you without cause? He had a very good reason. What was that? He wanted my name and my position. Then Andrews was... I think I see a light. Please go ahead. When I regained consciousness, my pilot's license, identification papers, company transfer slips, and the ship were gone. I was badly hurt, but luckily the shot went high. I dragged myself about two miles until I couldn't make it any further. When I woke up in a ranch house, there was a doctor attending me. And this man, whoever he was, thought you were dead? Yes, or he never would have left me. But I am back to run down the men responsible. I'm very glad that you decided to tell me this, Andrews. Well, he got the fingerprints, ma'am, in the picture. Good bit. That uh, fingerprint man, Burke, knows his business. He said he'd check them with his identification files and call us as soon as he finds out who they belong to. Very good, Sergeant. Uh, Fitz. Yes, ma'am. I want you to meet Andy Andrews. Oh, yeah. Uh, huh? Uh, what's that, ma'am? This is Andy Andrews. Oh, what's the gag, Miss Delroy? You know Andrews is dead. That's what I thought, too, Sergeant. But it happens that we were both very wrong. Well, well who was that guy then, ma'am? The one in the plane? If we knew the answer to that question, Sergeant, it would greatly assist us. Unfortunately, we don't know who he is. 
Of course, the Identification Bureau may be able to help us. Yeah, but well, where does this guy fit into the picture? Mr. Andrews? Uh, yes, ma'am. It's a long story, Fitz. But you'll probably be interested in knowing that Andrews was impersonated by someone who was connected in an important way with the mail robbery. Yeah? Yes, Fitz. And that is just one of the developments of the last five minutes. Well, uh, how about Gifford, ma'am? You heard anything else? Nothing yet, Sergeant. I'd try again if I were you, Miss Delroy. You want me to call him on the radio again, ma'am? Yes, Fitz, by all means. How long has he been out? About 30 minutes, Sergeant. If he's still on his course, he'll just be nearing Devil's Canyon. Or oh, the other switch, Sergeant. Uh, yeah. Metropolitan to Gifford. Metro to Gifford. How's everything, Jimmy? Oh, mm. something's happened to him, I'm sure. I wish he'd never followed that other ship. Oh, don't be alarmed, Miss Delroy. Try him again, Sergeant. Uh. Metropolitan Airport to Gifford. Metro to Gifford. Hello, Jimmy. Can you hear us? Go ahead. Hello, Fitz. Everything's still okay. I'm right on his tail, about a thousand feet up. Don't worry about me. Ask him where he is, Fitz. Yes, ma'am. Gifford, Miss Delroy wants to know where you are. Go ahead. How the heck should I know? Black as pitch up here. I'm keeping my eye on his navigation light. I'll follow him as far as he wants to go. Get his compass reading. I'll tell you where he is. Gifford. What's your compass reading? We'll give you your location. Still 41, Fitz. He's heading right out over that canyon unless a headwind has held him back. I know those fast mails like a book. Fitz, you've got to stop him. Tell him I won't let him do this. Tell him to turn back. That other ship's leading him on. Yes, sir. Hey, Gifford. Miss Delroy says to turn back. You'd better take her advice, Gifford. That route is taking you right out over Devil's Canyon. Don't worry, Sergeant. I... What? What's happened? Quick, Fitz! What's happened, Gifford? What's up, Jimmy? This motor's cutting on and off. It seems... There it goes again. His gas tanks. He forgot to cut on his main tanks. He's run the emergency dry. Tell him to cut on the main tanks, Sergeant. Quick, before his motor quits cold. Cut in your main tanks, Gifford. Your main tanks aren't cut in. Oh, something else is wrong. I know it. Call him, Fitz. Jimmy, are you okay? Answer us. Hurry. Are you okay, Jimmy? Something's up as sure as shooting. Fitz, we've got to do something quick. Yeah, but what, ma'am? We've got to get out there right away. Yeah, but it's 90 miles, ma'am. Sergeant, get over to the other hangar, quick. Get that new speed job out. I'll take you out to that canyon in 20 minutes. Hurry. Sure. Uh, I'll have it out for you. Uh, and, Sergeant, yeah? check the gas and oil while you're warming it up. Do you oh, think you can make it, Andrews? Sure, miss. I'll get some parachute flares in case we need to land. And while I'm gone, you might scare up some artillery. I have a hunch we're going to need some. That's great, Andrews. Do hurry. Oh, where's the nearest phone? Over there, ma'am, on the desk. Oh, just a minute, Lewis. Yeah? Hello. Is this the forestry service? Give me the station in Devil's Canyon. Say, Lewis, get a couple of air chutes, too. Okay. Hello. This is Irene Delroy, Department of Justice. Listen, Jimmy Gifford is in a plane somewhere up there in your vicinity. If you see any parachute flares, get over there as quickly as you can. We'll be right out. Ready, Miss Delroy? Just a second. I'm calling Chief Robertson. It'll just take a minute. Hello, Chief Robertson. This is Irene Delroy. Yes. Sergeant Fitzgerald and I are leaving for Devil's Canyon by air right now. What's that? Oh, yes, I know it's dangerous. Listen. I have all the information on the airmail case in the safety deposit box. Here's the number. 3443 Security Branch. That's it. If we're not back by noon tomorrow, I want you to arrest... Uh, his name is on the John Doe warrant. Good. Thank you, Chief. Sounds like you're expecting some trouble, Miss Elroy. Now, this business is all very uncertain. Are you ready? All set. This way. We'll take a shortcut through the shop. I hope the sergeant has the ship out. Just why are you so interested in this case, Andrew? I have a right to get revenge, haven't I? Well, here's the outside door. Oh, I see Fitz is on the job. The ship is over here. Hurry, Miss Delroy. Fitz is a very capable officer. 
A bit trying at times, but very reliable. He's evidently going with us. I see he has a helmet and goggles. Can you take him? I'd like to have him come along if possible. Sure, the ship's licensed for four. It'll be easy. Nice work, Fitz. How's the gas and oil? Okay, I just finished checking them. Good. Climb in here and we're off. I'll give you a hand, Miss Delroy. All set? Get that belt for Miss Delroy, Fitz. All clear over there, Sergeant? All clear. Okay, here we go. Don't jump, Fitz! Don't jump! 